Yo, what's happening party people? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy Captain GG and today we have another video from the Heart Save, which unfortunately is going to be ending at the end of this season before the full release of the 1998-1999 season database that has been put together by the Mad Scientist. I'm so, so excited to get involved with that database and play with some absolute legends of the game at their very young tender ages. Wait, wait. I'll take that back, that, sound, that sounds weird. But anyway, we're super excited for that database. Um, today's episode, that's throwing me right off. Today's episode, we are bringing you a Champions League game against Villarreal, a real, real crunch game. If we can win this game against Villarreal, I think there's a really good opportunity for us to finish inside the top eight in the Champions League league phase, therefore putting us through to the following round after the first knockout round, which will be really, really nice. Um, and then we're going to bring you the league game against Rangers. Just to give you a quick oversight of the Scottish League as it stands, we have played 13, won 9, drew 3, lost 1. Uh, we are top of the league with 30 points. Rangers just behind us on 29, with Celtic 3 back from us on 27. Uh, things are going pretty well, if you don't remember. Endrick has left us, technically, but has rejoined us on loan as part of the deal and he has scored 15 goals in seven games the guy is absolutely cruising at the moment um yeah he's he really is bossing the league and also doing really well in the champions league as well so like i say that game in the champions league coming up against Villarreal. this is how the champions league table stands so after four we are in fifth with nine points we beat porto 5-4 shakta the next 8-1 uh, Ferran Cavaros 2-0 and in Milan we did lose to them by 3 goals to 1 but like I say if we get a win here that's going to put us up to 12 points we've got to play Dynamo which could then put us up to 15 and 15 points is going to be enough to get us inside the top 8 even with the two games coming up against Roma and Manchester United in January we could probably lose both of those if we win these next two so it really is crucial so like I say just to recap today's episode Villarreal and Rangers and then next episode we'll come back for the Rangers game in the league again and the Premier Sports Cup final against St Mirren chance for more silverware and the first chance of the year so without further ado let's get in to today's episode so just picking the team then chat opposition instructions always done by our assistant manager we've got to give him something to do otherwise why are we paying him um, and then with the team I think this is generally just the best team we have Ramsey, Magala, Kormaz, Shaw um, Mansbeck probably isn't actually where is we should have Jao Gomez he's suspended okay okay Mansbeck is going to be playing then Lorenzo Lucas on the bench obviously with Endrick being fit Skeldrip Pedersen and Maduki uh, or Madueki um, as he is now known since he has moved to England we get a correct pronunciation of his name so let's get in to the game this is a big one like I say, if we can pick up three points here, we are at home as well. So a really, really good opportunity for us to get three points. Uh, really hoping we can get it done. They've got Kepa Riz, the goal. They've got Pau Torres still. Um, Gerard Moreno's there. Wow, they've got they've got some decent players there. But they don't have Endrick. And we do. So feeling confident. Like I say, a massive, massive three points if we can find the win. This is the formation. It's the 4-2-3-1 in which we have been playing this season. Obviously, when we have come up against other teams, sometimes we do revert back to our 4-3-1-2, just dependent um, on the players' availability uh, and the players that we have fit at the time, really. Uh, Villarreal having a decent enough squad. It isn't going to be an easy game. Uh, but yeah, getting riled up with the Champions League anthem playing in the background. We love to hear it. You might not be able to hear me too much because it is that loud. Uh, sorry, I might need to get that sorted out. Uh, definitely for the new save. But yeah, we're ready to go. Hearts, can we find some European silverware this season? Well, this game will go a long way uh, to potentially giving us that. Or at least our deepest run in the competition, which has been the quarterfinals. Um, which I believe, or round of 16, isn't it? Um, no, round of 16 is the first knockout round. Quarterfinals, we got to the quarterfinals last season after beating Celtic in the round of 16. And here is Skeldrip on the left-hand side. Endrick's in the middle. And it's an easy finish for that man again. Endrick, 16 goals already this season. He's bossing it. He's been injured for half of it. Celtic are tuning it up. That's good to see. Uh, Mainz are a goal up against Dynamo, sort of to be expected. Marseille are now tuning it up against Shakhtar. They really are pretty poor now. 
Um, other than that, Monaco Seville won all. Shaw's got a corner, swinging it in towards the front post. Caught Maz was there, comes back out to Shaw. He puts it back in. Pozzo flicks it back in to the danger area. Mansbeck to Shaw again. Caught Maz, decent ball in, and the header by Madoweki goes over the bar. But again, positive play from us. Manchester City versus Real Madrid. What a game that is. Uh, Atletico Madrid, Fiorentina is going to be a decent game. Liverpool versus Bayern Munich. Uh, but here we are again on the attack. Shaw gives it in to i think that was pedersen sure that's a decent ball it's hooked away by power torres but it's going to come back at him as madoweki picks up the loose pieces ramsey finds pedersen into madoweki he's got a chance he's got a score he's got a score what a save though what a save he was done well made himself big united psg i missed that one and man city are a goal up against real madrid Ooh. it's it's so spicy i do like I really am a fan of the new Champions League format. Arsenal are a goal up against AS Roma as well. Try and keep an eye on all of the results. We are absolutely bossing Villarreal. They haven't had a shot on target yet. They haven't had a shot. Um, but right now they have their first highlight. And knowing of what I've just said, they might go and find the back of the net. And that's well mocked up though by Magalo. He sends it forward to Madueki. And on the counter attack, but Pasolak gets back and does enough. Kepa Riza Balaga trying to play out. Oh, what is Kepa doing? He's going to get away with it. Showing his Chelsea colours there, I think, Kepa. That that could have been big. If we'd, if we'd managed to find the back of that there, it would have been huge. Surely Jesus has not scored two goals inside a minute. I think that's still 1-0. It is only 1-0. Uh, Manchester City are now 2-0 up against Real Madrid. Still no goals in the PSG game or the Liverpool Bayern Munich game. Those games tend to be pretty cagey. Uh, we've had a lot of shots on target. We're absolutely dominating. We're feeling good. And straight from kickoff, looks like we might be getting on the front foot. Mansbeck finds Calvin Ramsey. And that's into Endrick. And he's got a score. He does score. Endrick, 17 goals now this season. Two today. And Villarreal being put in their place. Woo! We're potentially going up to 12 points after just five games. This is going to be absolutely huge. Like I say, if we if we can get to 15 before we play Roma and United, it isn't really going to matter. Like, really. Because even if we lose both games, I don't see us falling outside the top 8 if we have 15 points. Previous seasons, 14 has been more than enough. Skeldrick plays it into Pozzo. Pozzo then launching it forward and Endrick's on for a hat-trick. Oh, the audacity from Endrick. He's just... I'm glad this is the final season of this save because without him... We might not be doing as well as what we are, but we have a very good side, to be fair. Have some really, really nice youngsters. And there's no way we're going to get Endrick on loan again. The only reason we have him on loan is purely for the fact that we had him and it was part of the sale. Like, didn't really have too much choice. I wouldn't have accepted a bid um, had we have not got a loan back. That is why I accepted the £60 million. And Madueki has just made it four. We are absolutely tearing Villarreal a new arsehole. Get out! What was it that Villarreal left back Moreno said? Get out! Villarreal, get out! See you later, boys. They've had one shot the whole game. We are cruising. Endrick has been absolutely bossing it. I'm actually going to take him off. Uh, just because, why not? Like, Let's just rest him. Uh, let's give Lorenzo Lucas some game time. Ronnie can come on for some game time as well. Might as well rest uh, Madueki. And Skeldrick, again, might as well rest him. Who else have we got that can play on the left? Um, not really anyone else. Okay. Mm, I might put Madoweki back out there then. Oh, they're both pretty tired, though. Got to have someone. Maybe we just put Jarosende on the left. I think we're training him to play on the left, right? So let's put Jarosende out on the left. He does need some minutes. Uh, Milosevic could do with some minutes as well, to be honest. Marshall Colbert is not exactly fit let's give milosevic some minutes in the cam uh Manzavik can come off and we can bring on kamara who is in need of some minutes too and then Corkmaz we could bring on who could we bring on nielsen yeah let's bring on nielsen oh we can't that's five subs clearly math is not my strong point uh 2-1 arsenal against roma as it stands still nil nil 
in the Liverpool or Bayern Munich game. Still 2-0 Manchester City against Real Madrid. Inter Milan losing 3-1 to Nice. PSG are beating Manchester United by goal to nil. And Celtic cruising against PSV 5-1 currently. Leipzig a goal up against Chelsea. What a result for Leipzig that could be. I'm interested to see what the league table is going to look like after this. Because this is just going our, our way. Every result seems to just go our way. Jao Resende, oh, I can't get past Oscar Gill. That's a good header though. Calvin Ramsey might have a pop. He's going, he's going to. Oh, and it wasn't convincing from Kepa Riza Balaga. Managed to make the save, tips it onto the post. Danny Olmo with the goal. Do you like Danny Olmo? Uh, Donnarumma own goal. United have leveled it. United have leveled it. That's probably a good result for us as well, to be honest. But we have cruised to a 4-0 win over Villarreal. Absolutely battered them. There's no, there's no other way to say it. We destroyed them. Very, very happy with that result. It can't get much better, to be honest. We are up to fourth. Fourth. That is incredible. Only PSG, United and Arsenal are above us. Mites have got 12. Leipzig have 12. City and Barcelona on 11. I mean, okay, maybe we might need more than 15. But previous seasons, 15 has been enough. Uh, 2.4 million for the win. Let me just go back to the Champions League and have a look at previous seasons. Go to stages. Last season, 15 points. Okay, but with a very, very good goal difference. 18 goal difference. But then we've got a very good goal difference, so there's a chance. Uh, the season before that, okay, 16. I thought it was about 14. Okay, it's 16 points. 15, 16 points seems to be the the area in which we need to get to. So let's say we need another four points. Let's say we beat Dynamo and then get a draw against Roma, which I think is definitely possible. Then maybe we get beat by United. I still think that would be enough. Um, but yeah, 12 goal difference as well, plus 12. We've scored the well, joint most goals out of anyone in the competition, um, which is lovely. Arsenal are absolutely rampant at the moment. Uh, to be fair, they haven't had two harder games. Inter Milan, the hardest team. Uh, we had to play Inter. We've also got to play Roma. So it doesn't look like Arsenal are getting too many difficult games. Maybe because their coefficient has dropped where they haven't been in the competition for as long. Let me just have a look and see who Arsenal do have in the remaining Champions League games. They've got to play Milan... Villarreal and Mainz. I mean, to be fair, Arsenal probably got easier games than what we got, which is pretty incredible. Um, but yeah, guys, what a start to the episode. What I'm going to do now is jump forward to the game in the league against Rangers. Hopefully we can continue this amazing form. Just the one game in between that game against Villarreal and our next match against Rangers. Uh, we played against St. Johnson in the league. Uh, we've absolutely cruised it. We played a second string team, as you can see on screen. Nilsson played at right back, Cortez, Borset, Doig, Mansbeck, Doyle, Borsin, Colbert, um, Ronnie played. Lorenzo, Luca absolutely smashed it. Maybe, maybe we don't need Endrick. Maybe Lorenzo, Luca should be playing up front. Four goals for Lorenzo, Luca. Um, again, as a backup striker, he will be the main striker probably next season, but that's not going to be my decision. That will be down to the AI after we leave and we sim on 10 seasons to see how they get on and see whether the team we've built um, and they're able to kick on with that or whether they just end up turning back into the same old hearts but a really really good episode so far what we need to do now is get into that game in the league against rangers big big one they're only a point behind us in the league so far so this is a chance for us to go and make ourselves and gain a little bit of a gap lorenzo lucas scoops player of the month uh, it scored four goals in two games. They all actually came in one game, but uh, he then dedicates the award to myself. Uh, Mete Korkmaz also gets the award as well. The youngster will give him a little thumbs up. Um, somehow we don't win Manager of the Month. Like, odd. Strange. Uh, I guess we did draw a game, didn't we? So, it's all okay. Uh, Hearts have made extra funds available. Oh. I mean, we did get a takeover. We did get a takeover. But it isn't one of great significance. Uh, they are still obviously pleased with the finances. We now have, if we go into our finances, £69 million overall balance. When we started this save, I think our overall balance was about £3 million, um, if that. We, we've literally built this club up 
Uh, a lot of that may well have come from the Endrick deal, to be honest. Uh, but it's about winning games in the Champions League to be able to sustain it. Uh, otherwise, we do see like big drops like this one here from September 24th. Uh, sorry, September 2024. And as we drop down towards the back end of the season, you'll see our budget just depleted because there weren't many Champions League games at the back end of the season because we didn't make it far enough, you know. Um, whereas as we've started to be a bit more competitive in the Champions League, you get money, big money for win bonuses, big money for qualifying through the next round. And that really keeps us ticking over because otherwise we can't afford to be spending nearly a million pounds in wages per, uh, per week. So doing okay as is right now. Uh, heads up about Pozzo. Client is unhappy. He wants to play first team football and he's not getting it at the moment. What? Is it because we keep dropping him when we're playing second string teams? He's played six in the league and played all five Champions League games and also played in the Premier Sports Cup. I'm not quite sure what he's upset about because... Quite frankly, Rizzo's played 19. I mean, you've played more than most. Okay, odd. Let's go and talk to him, uh, discuss the issue. I've noticed you seem a bit down. I'm supposed to be a star player. Okay, hasn't really reflected that. Um, I want to make you make sure you're right. Yeah, but he definitely is one of our most influential and definitely is one for the future. Um, I don't just want to back down like that though. Uh, is there anything better? Like, I'm sorry, I thought I was playing you enough. Like, that would be good. I mean, let's just back down because ultimately we want to keep him happy. And we don't want him getting upset and wanting to leave because his value should be a lot higher than what it is. Uh, let's get into the game against Rangers. Opposition instructions also done by the assistant, like I always do. Uh, Jao Gomez comes back into the team in the ball-winning midfield role. Pozzo, obviously, right beside him. Other than that, it's pretty much the same team that played in the Champions League against Villarreal. So let's get into this one. Looking for another big win, another three points. Let's hope we can get it. I mean, I guess a draw is not the worst case, considering we are away from home. But um, I, I'm, I'm feeling very, very positive. Uh, that we'll be able to get the three points here. They've still got pretty a pretty similar squad to what they actually have at Rangers at the start of it. They haven't really done too much, whereas we have literally changed the whole heart scene. I don't think there's a single player. Actually, there is our backup goalkeeper. We re-signed our old backup goalkeeper, so he's the only player now at the club. Oh, and Nilsson, who's a backup right back. They're the only two players at the club that were at the club when we started this save. Um, and it's funny because the backup goalkeeper in which we've re-signed he was the first person we sold for over a million pounds uh, and really helped us sign a couple of the youngsters that we got in to then resell, to then make money, to buy more and so on and so forth. You know, the, rinse, the old rinse and repeat method. Um, so he played a big part in it and now he's back just to come and be back up and sort of finish off his career. Uh, that's it. Oh, I was going to say that's a decent ball looking over the top for a scale but not on this occasion. Kelly going to launch it long. Easy one by Luke Shaw. Scale drip trying to flick it on. That's a decent ball out wide to Madoeki. Goes back to Magala though. He might need some support. Gets it from Pozzo. Pozzo looking wide for Ramsey. Couldn't get it past Janko though. Davies then launching it forward to Morelos. Morelos finds Vidma. And Vidma's got Kent ahead of him and he's found him. Can he get past Luke Shaw? He gets to the byline. Gets a decent ball in. Ramsey with a half clearance. Morelos with the half volley. But wide off the target. I actually thought he took a deflection at first. But... It wasn't the case. Uh, Celtic are a goal up against St Mirren. Always good to keep an eye on that result, knowing Celtic will be there at the end of the season, challenging us for the title. As Endrick is sort of in behind. He squares it. Skeldrum, what a save. What a save from Kelly. Fair play. Credit where it's due. Don't see that kind of save on FM all that much. Sure, whips in the resulting corner. It's going to come back out to him. He's going to let it go for a corner again. Don't mind it. Hopefully this one's a bit of a better delivery though. Can he find a head of a claret shirt? No, he can't. He's headed away and Ken on the counter again. And Jao Gomez, do you know what? At, actually happy with that foul. It's a good foul. Didn't even get a yellow card as well, which is nice. Um, but generally a good tactical foul, that one. Aberdeen are 2-0 up against St. Johnson as well. I don't think they're going to be anywhere near us towards the end of the season. It's literally just going to be us and us Celtic and Rangers. 
Uh, Rangers were nowhere near us last season, to be fair. It was literally just us and Selwick, a two-horse race. But we've won the league for the last three seasons. We could potentially make it four seasons in a row. And then we're going to leave and see whether the AI can make it five um, and just continue. I, I generally believe they will be able to continue dominating Scotland. At least I out of the 10 season we sim, I, I expect them to win eight. Mm, six, six. Six out of the 10 seasons I expect them to win. 60% of the sims. Yeah. Depends obviously on how... How well they do with keeping their players, I guess. They might be they might be a little bit more open to selling their best players, more than I am at least. Uh, let's point the finger up. Delighted with the performance so far. Been the better team. Been close. I mean, we've dominated possession, but in terms of chances, um, it's been fairly even. That's got, that goal from Skeldrip looked a little bit scrappy, but I was also more so concentrating on what I was saying. As Rizzo comes out of his goal, picks up the ball, got a little bit nervous there. Don't know if you could tell my voice. Luke Shaw launches it long, pretty much to no one. Goldson brings it down, clears it, but back with hearts it goes. Madaweki looking for Skelger. Oh, he should have squared it. No, he shouldn't have. Ooh, is he offside? Don't be offside. Oh, it counts. What a finish. Uh, I mean, what a finish anyway, regardless of whether it's on or off. He's actually miles on as well. Sort of wanted him to square it, like I said, but decent finish. That's a brace for him now. And, and that's the good thing about this team is even when like Endrick isn't playing at his best and not scoring goals, someone else in the squad is having a blinder um, and just tearing it up. I know I said about Pozzo that I'll play him, but if you keep playing pretty shit, I'm going to take you off. And that is 2-1. That arsehole Alfredo Morelos has scored it. Went to pick up the ball. Thought better of it. Maybe maybe Rizzo was like, I'll knock you out if you touch it. Skelger, ball in. Pedersen. Maduki. 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 Either way, it's in the back of the net. Nonny gets it. 3-1 hearts. Um, and I think I'm going to take off Pozzo. He's on a yellow. Uh, we can bring on Tommy Doyle, I guess. Uh, who else have we got? Pedersen's not having the best of games either. Marshall Colbert can come on. And Endrick is going to come off for Lorenzo Luca. As we just seem to just want to rest a few players. I do really want Endrick to break the league record of 35 league goals. He got 32 last season. So we're so close to breaking Henrik Larsson's record. I really hope he can do it this season. He's off to a decent start. Although a fair few of his goals have come in the Champions League. As Madueki goes close again. 3-1 hearts. Third, 17 minutes. Again, math. Struggling with it. Um, 17 minutes left it should be pretty comfortable from here on out we are still on positive we could probably drop onto balanced um, let's do that actually let's just drop onto balanced uh, we'll also go instructions we'll waste a little bit of time be a little bit more disciplined and once that has sort of taken effect we will go for a shout um, and just say look let's relax let's focus not relax let's focus um, and not concede a goal especially if Morelos manages to find the back and net here Kormazu the clearance didn't look like it was going to be great at first now on the counter attack with Lorenzo Luca Colbert's though he's been dispossessed fashion of Sakala Morelos 3-2 it's 3-2 surely not uh, yeah we definitely want to make those t changes now Come on, Doyle. Tommy Doyle swings it in and it's caught. Maz over the bar it goes. Uh, we do have a couple of defenders pretty tired. Ramsey can come off. Nilsson can come on. Doy can come on for Luke Shaw, who's pretty tired. And that is going to be five subs. So we'll just leave it at that. Don't mind replacing both fullbacks there. Get some legs on. Nine minutes to go. Let's go for that shout. Uh, focus it is. We didn't get to do that. Let's also go instructions. Let's waste loads of time, please, for the last five minutes. Still don't understand why their formation is so defensive. I guess it's just because we dominate possession. Uh, they're purely just trying to hit us on the counter. But looks like it could be a decent 3-2 win against Rangers away from home. Just two more minutes of added time left to play. And that is that. The final whistle goes. Hearts win by three goals to two. What a huge win it is as well. That is going to lift us four points above Rangers now. Celtic even further back on 31. We have a game in hand too. Uh, obviously, um, Rangers, we don't have a game in hand on them, but we do have a game in hand on Celtic, which is going to give us a chance to go eight points clear 
of Celtic, which is just going to be, yeah, it's, it's going to be a great start, given the fact that we will only be 16 games in. So really, really happy with that. Uh, if we have a look at our schedule, like I say, we will come back for the league game against Rangers um, and then the cup final against St Mirren. That will be on the next episode, which should be out on, what day is it today? It's Monday today. Uh, that will be out on Tuesday. Um, we're trying to get a, we're going to try and get an episode out Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, because this week we are trying to complete this save, complete this season, and then obviously I need to do the sim ten years, um, all before we start the save um, with the database. Um, also on that as well, we will be doing a live stream to start that episode. So to start that whole save, we will be doing a live stream. I'll then do some sort of like recap video. Uh, to put up on the channel as well but yeah if you have enjoyed the episode please do consider hitting that follow hit that like as well because it really does help get the algorithm working the comments as well get in the comments what you let me know what you think um yeah boys really really appreciate it buzzing with how this episode has gone and we'll catch you on the next one peace out